How's it going, people? So, it is the Hoff here, and today I wanted to do a, another video because it's been a while. As you see, this whole place here is a mess. I have boxes everywhere. I have the printer here, and then I have my system that is kind of over here. And I wanted to go over the review, kind of, along with some speed tests of the Netgear Orbi. So in this, I'm gonna list the specs of my computer. I'm going to connect to the AT&T U-verse over there and do a speed comparison between direct connecting to it. Then I'm also gonna go into points of my house being up here on my iPhone and I'm gonna be doing a speed test from my iPhone and that's the iPhone 7 Plus. Then we're gonna come down here and I'm going to take the phone and I'm going to do a speed test down here because Netgear Orbi is mesh routing and I have another access point down here for mesh routing and I'll access that with my phone so you will see what you can expect using the Giga Power from AT&T and that's one gig per second up, one gig per second down. And then when you pair that up with the Netgear Orbi, what you can expect when you're on the main router with your computer, what can you expect when you're on the main router with your iPhone, and what to expect when you're on the mesh access point called the satellite with their system. And I can pretty much access that most of my area around my yard and stuff, so it's not bad. I like it. But I just figured maybe you guys would want to know about it. I enlist my computer specs so you can see what I have as far as my wireless AC, what I have when it comes to um, the various parts of my computer. It shouldn't really matter, but you know, my CPU, graphics card, RAM, all that good stuff. So with that in mind, don't forget to minimize the window and hit the like and subscribe or do it at the end of the video. And there's so many other videos to check out, including a Call of Duty giveaway. So if you haven't seen it, go to my Twitter. It's pinned at the top of my Twitter that there's another Call of Duty World War II giveaway and hit that up. So here's the quick rundown that gives you the gist of the specs. And now here is what you see. You have the first, I did the Netgear Orbi, and that was connected to where I did PC, Wi-Fi, and the download speeds averaged 493 megabits per second. Upload speeds averaged 621 megabits per second. Really good, love it. Then I did the test using PC. Again, this is gonna be Wi-Fi, and it's AT&T fiber modem, and the download speeds are slower, not by a lot when you're considering the fact that this is pretty darn fast to begin with, but I get a gig download, gig upload, and for them, I average 346 megabits per second. Now, my average is average testing for the last week or so, I would document. So, that's average. Now, the upload speeds were 699, so that right there was a little bit faster. Now the iPhone, I had consistency when I dealt with the iPhone. And as you can see the speeds there, they both were around 320. And the upload speed was faster, as you can see, when connected to the Netgear Orbi itself and not the satellite router. And it was slower and I didn't put the testing up there for the AT&T modem but it was a lot slower with the AT&T modem as well, like same as PC. So all in all, if you have AT&T Giga Power and it's not covering your whole house, well, looking to get in the Orbi, it's the fastest one on the market. If I'm not mistaken, I still have what is considered the fastest wireless card on the market, but this wireless card is a PCI Express card, so keep that in mind but it's pretty darn fast with four antennas. 
that you can use on the back of your computer or you could set them wherever and they're directional antennas so that really helps. It's blazing fast. Internet here is blazing fast. Direct connecting, you're definitely going to see the speeds close to a gig. But I just wanted to show you what it was with Wi-Fi so you can get a gist of it and just tell you that this Netgear Orbi system is amazing. You can have guest accounts, parental controls, whatever you want. You have it. It's dual band, so it does 5 gigs, 2 gigs, and it does, I believe it's 3.1 gigs total, but in reality... My PC is only connecting to the 5 gigs band, so it's only using the bandwidth off that 5 gig. And then, unlike the rest, the Netgear Orbi and the satellite router share a 5 gig themselves to talk, and that's it. No other device can connect on that 5 gig network that they talk on, so they have the best speeds when talking to each other, and that's why you see when I take my iPhone downstairs to that satellite router, that it is blazing fast, just like it is when connected up here. And that's because of that five gigahertz band. And I figured I'd let you know, if you have any other questions, hit them down in the comments below. Hit up my Twitter, like I said, there is a giveaway for the Call of Duty World War II. If you haven't already done it, please like and subscribe. The likes help get my channel out there. The subscribes are so you can keep updated. If you have anything you want me to review, I'll go ahead and review it. If you haven't already seen it, I have done some work with pre-launch labs in the past, getting my Epson printer. There's a video there. But also, if you hit up my Twitter, I follow pre-launch labs. I tweeted a retweet out for them, but they're still looking for people that own DJI drones and want to test out some first person view camera glasses so you can see your drone as you're actually in the air with it flying, which is pretty cool. And these are $800 glasses. You get 30 days of testing and then you send it back. You give them the review, how you liked everything else. And then they give you an Amazon gift card just for your time. So that's pretty darn cool. So if you haven't seen that and would like to do that, go right ahead. It's on my Twitter. You can look to who I follow or you can just see my retweets and it's in there. And also, if you haven't seen, I've done a video and how else I get some of these products for beta testing review. And you can go ahead and click that video, which I will share out at the end. As well as if you haven't seen it, there's a video that has the cool t-shirts I'm trying to create where it's the t-shirt I sold to a couple of people of my channel t-shirt, as well as the PC Master Race t-shirt. So don't forget, hit that up. Thank you for watching.